Today, we're looking at the Brompton derailleur system. It consists of a gear shifter, which changes between minus and plus. Plus for your high gear, minus for your lower gear. When you change into low gear or minus, it pulls the gear cable tighter. And when you change into the plus or the higher gear, it slackens the gear cable, which in turn moves the chain pusher. This moves the jockey wheels on the chain tensioner and changes gear on the rear sprocket. Or doesn't, in my case. I seem to be stuck in the largest sprocket. So, we're going to try and fix this. The jockey wheels should be able to move side to side freely on the chain tensioner and also rotate. First, we're going to remove the chain tensioner. I think the problem is that the jockey wheels are not freely moving on the chain tensioner. So I'm going to try cleaning it to see if that solves the problem. Please ask permission from your significant other before cleaning bike parts in the sink. Now I have cleaned my chain tensioner in the sink. The jockey wheels move freely. Now I'm going to reinstall him on the Brompton to see if that solves my gear changing issue. First of all we're going to line the chain tensioner up with the chain making sure that the gear pusher is aligned correctly. Now can I change gear? Da, da, da. No. This is the chain pusher or effectively the derailleur on the Brompton. It twists to push the jockey wheels and change gear. However, despite having given my jockey wheels a nice overhaul and they're all nice and clean, they're not reliably changing gear. We've cleaned the chain tensioner and we don't think that's solved the problem. So now we're going to take it off again and take the chain pusher off as well. The chain tensioner is held on with this bolt here. It's undone using a 3mm Allen key. Be careful not to lose this little washer. We're going to give this area a clean. We're going to clean the wing plate first. And then the small washer that you don't want to lose. Now I'm going to clean the underside of the chain pusher. He does look like he's moving freely. Now we're going to reinstall him. Align him with the spokes and push him up through the wheel. The magic washer that you mustn't lose must go on first. Then the chain pusher is reinstalled and done up using a 3mm Allen key. Now we're going to put the chain tensioner back on again. Mm. 
minding your fingers. When it's in high gear, this side here should almost be touching the jockey wheel, but there should be some daylight. This is the high gear adjustment screw. If it's touching, you need to move it away by adjusting the limit screw. If you tighten it in a clockwise direction, it's going to push this plate further onto the jockey wheel. So we're just going to undo it slightly so that we can see daylight again. And this is the low gear adjustment screw. Now I'm going to change it to low gear and make sure it's also set up correctly. I can see daylight on both sides of the chain pusher between the, the chain pusher and the sprockets. So I don't think it needs any further adjustment. If once you've cleaned your chain tensioner and made sure that your chain pusher is clean, you're still having problems with changing gear. You might want to check whether the dog leg is done up too tightly. It's using a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. The dog leg shouldn't be too tight because it will inhibit the movement of the chain pusher. So you just want to slacken it off slightly to enable the dog leg to move. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Did we miss anything? Or have you got any suggestions? Please comment in the comment section below. So, when we change into the bigger sprocket or the minus gear, it tightens the cable, which pulls the spring, which moves the dog leg, which moves the chain pusher onto the jockey wheels, which moves the chain. It tightens the cable, which pulls the which pulls the spring, it tightens the cable, which pulls the spring, that pulls the jockey wheel, that pulls the chain tensioner across on the jockey wheels, which moves the chain onto the small sprocket. 